Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back, friends. So we talked about the celiac disease, the introduction of the celiac disease, and we also talked about the uh, gluten, means the food which contain the gluten. Okay. Now this is another video lecture which is also regarded with the celiac disease, and in this video lecture we are going to talk about the signs and symptoms of the celiac disease. Okay. Okay. So here I will show you different diagrams, and such diagrams will show the signs and symptoms of the celiac disease. So now let me show the first diagram. Now this first diagram shows the constipation. Okay, this is the constipation. So what actually happened in this case? It is also uh, mean the it is the main sign and symptom of the celiac disease. What actually happened in this case? Uh, there will be a pain in the stomach. Okay, and whenever the patient try to uh, you know release the stool, so they will uh, feel pain in the stomach. And in the abdomen area, we can also say, okay. So we call that uh, constipation. Next, we have now this is called this condition. We call that what uh, bloating. Okay, means the air or the gas which is aggregated inside the abdomen area. Okay. Now, what actually happen in this case? The 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 abdomen will be swollen due to the presence of more and more gases. Now. Then we have another case we call that uh, depression. So due to severe depression, due to severe depression, it will also shows the signs and symptoms of the celiac diseases. Now we have another main sign and symptom which we call that uh, diarrhea. Okay, in diarrhea, what actually happen? Watery stool will produce from the body. Okay, now due to this way, the proteins, minerals, irons. And uh, and we can say that calcium and everything will be lost from the body during this uh, diarrhea. Okay, so then the patient will, <coughs> in this case, the patient will also feel you know a, a pain in the stomach or pain in the abdomen area. Okay, now let me tell you uh, these uh, four things. Let me explain these four symptoms in a detail. What actually happen when the people have a celiac disease? So what actually they have? They have this bloating in the stomach. Means they have gas in the stomach. Okay, and uh, they feel pain in the abdomen area. Okay, they feel what? They feel pain in the abdomen area. Okay, and other they can produce diarrhea. Means watery stool, and they also produce a stetoria. What does stetoria means? Stetoria is that condition in which a pets will be produced in the stool. Okay, and the stool during in stetoria condition, it will be pale, loose, greasy, large volume, and having a very bad smell. Okay, and moreover, in stetoria, moreover, there will be a cramping in the abdomen. Now, one thing more that I want to tell you about the celiac disease that during celiac disease, the bowel become damaged, and it will be no able to absorb the nutrients okay as we talked in the introduction now the next diagram that i want uh, that i must tell you about so that's the next diagram that shows anemia okay now this is the normal blood this is the normal blood and this is the anemic blood okay so anemic is also the symptoms or the sign of the celiac disease what actually happen in this case in anemia the as all of you better know that uh, bowel or we can say small intestines are especially responsible to absorb the nutrients so once the intestines are damaged so then no nutrients minerals and fat soluble vitamins like vitamin a d e and k are absorbed so when whenever such vitamins are not absorbed so then the body will also not absorb the carbohydrates and fat as well due to this way the weight is due to this way what actually happen the weight is lost and if, uh, and what we we feel we feel the fatigue now this is the fatigue our weight is also lost and we feel fatigue okay moreover during anemia means during anemia symptoms what actually happened during anemia symptoms uh, there are severe anemias where there are several types of the anemia occurs in the uh, celiac disease the first anemia we call that uh, <coughs> you know megablastic anemia in this case what actually happen iron are not absorbed folic acid vitamin b2 vitamin b12 are not absorbed due to which mega blastic anemia will occur 
more ever calcium and vitamin D are also not absorbed okay so when calcium and vitamin D are not absorbed so then it will cause osteopenia okay so osteopenia is another uh, symptoms and during this sign and symptoms what actually happen decrease mineral content will be occur in the bone another condition which are occur in the um, which are occur in the sign and symptoms uh, we call that uh, osteoporosis osteoporosis is that condition in which the bone become weak and uh, there will be a risk of what fractures means there will be a risk of bone fractures okay so let me show you another diagram now this is called what this is called derma dermatitis herpetoformis now during this disease what actually happen when the people eat the gluten then suddenly a rashes appears and a blister forming in the abdomen and in the arm area as you are watching this is what this is the arm area okay so are on not only on the arm area the blister will appear the blister will also appear on the abdomen area as well and such blister will become extremely itchy and this condition we call that what dermatitis uh, herpes deformis and this symptoms will be affect 10 percent of the people who have celiac disease okay now this is called what we call this mouth ulcer okay so mouth ulcer is another symptoms of the celiac diseases now during celiac disease the patient will also feel pain in the stomach or pain in the abdomen why because we already uh, tell uh, we already talked about that during celiac disease the duodenum and jejunum portion will be disrupted or distorted that's why the patient will feel pain in the stomach okay moreover they feel the pain in the stomach uh, means in the abdomen because they have constipation and they have also diarrhea as well that's why they will feel the pain in the uh, abdomen okay now the next diagram shows weight loss as we already talked about uh, that during celiac disease neutrons are not absorbed so when the neutrons are not absorbed not only neutrons fats means uh, uh, proteins uh, carbohydrates uh, minerals calciums these neutrons are very uh, 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 means important and necessary for the weight gain so when such neutrons are not absorbed such neutrons are actually released out from the body during diarrhea and steatoria so when it is not absorbed so definitely weight loss will occur and then we have also what joint muscle pains okay these reds are the represents that there will be a pain in the joints area so when the pain are feel in the joints area so it is also in a main symptoms of the celiac disease okay guys so that's all about the main sign and symptoms of the celiac diseases okay i hope you understand about the sign and symptoms of the celiac disease inshallah in the next video lecture we are going to talk about causes and epidemiology of the celiac disease so please stay tuned and continue to watch the video thank you